Hi guys, on uh, today's battle report we're going to be doing uh, Warhammer 7th edition and we're going to play the new 7th edition Orc Codex versus Astro Militarum. So it's a thousand points. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, game on, all the usual stuff. Okay, on the Orc Army for the HQ choices we have a big mech with a custom horse field, a weird boy who's been upgraded to a level 2 psyker, and a mech boy with a custom mega blaster. For the first troop choice, we have a group of 12 boys, uh, all upgraded with Evi Ama and one big shooter and the knob, and one of them is upgraded to a knob with a boss pole power claw. For the next troop choice, we have another boy squad. Uh, this one uh, without Evi Ama, the knob is the same thing, power claw, boss pole, and a big shooter. For a third troop choice, we have another group of boys, 12 man. This time the knob has a big choppa, no boss pole, and there is a rocket launcher instead of a big shooter. Uh, two of the boy squads has a truck as a dedicated transport. Both have big shooters. As a heavy support, we have a looted wagon with a kill cannon and a death roller. And he also took the enclosed uh, crew compartment, so he's not open top. Uh, for a fast attack choice, we have a Deca jet with an extra super shooter. Finally, we have a fast attack choice, which is five def copters, all with twin-linked rocket launchers. Okay, on the uh, guard side for the HQ choice, we have a tank commander. Uh, he is in this battle tank right there. Um, the both battle tanks have uh, las cannons and heavy bolter sponsons. Uh, the, then to the round out the squad, we have the Punisher, uh, and he has two heavy flamers as the sponsons, but he still has the last cannon. For a first troop choice, we have a veteran squad with uh, Gunnery Sergeant Harker, three sniper rifles with forward sentries. For the second troop choice, we have another veteran squad. Um, the sergeant has a, a power fist and a plasma pistol. We have a melt -a gun two grenade launchers, and a chimera for dedicated transport. And the chimera has heavy bolter, multi-laser, and heavy stubber. Finally, as a fast attack, we have two scout sentinels, um, both with missile launchers and both with one uh, hunter-killer missile. Okay, here's where we sit after deployment. Uh, on the orc side, the def uh, copters all went in together and they did a scout move from behind the building up to there. Um, the, in the trucks, you have one squad of 12 boys each. Uh, the hard boys are going to be, um, or the heavy armor boys, whatever you want to say, are going to be walking across the table and the, uh, the uh, weird boy attached himself to that squad, and I guess that the uh, Big Mech did also, since that's where he's standing. Uh, the looted's up on top of the hill. And then on the Imperial Guard side, we have one veteran squad in a Chimera. And he's going to be hanging out in the tunnels. We have the Commander Command Squad of Lehman Russes, put himself kind of in the middle of the table in a good spot. And then the uh, veterans snipers are kind of out in the open on this hill, so we'll see what happens with them. Um, they're also kind of out of position for all the objectives. So we have the scout sentinels are going to be in reserves to outflank, and the uh, DACA jet is also obviously in reserves. For our objectives, uh, we have number four there, number six is there. Uh, number three is in the monolith ruins. On the other side of the tank, we have number five. And uh, underneath the, those is number one, and number two is on top of the log hut. So, uh, you want to go ahead and try to steal first turn? He's going to get a die. The guard player is going to attempt to steal first turn. He does not, so we'll be back after orc turn one. Alright, after the orcs turn one, uh, the trucks uh, did go forward, and then of course they went flat out to get a little bit closer. Uh, the def copters moved over and then shot at the chimera and did pop the chimera, so these guys had to disembark. Uh, the, these boys just kind of moved forward a little bit, and, and putting the custom force field kind of in the middle. The looted wagon moved forward and shot at this squad, did kill a couple, and they failed their pinning test, so they are pinned. Uh, Score-wise, we got uh, Orcs got first blood for the tank. Uh, we got one point for controlling that objective, and another one for killing a unit in the shooting phase. So we are now at 3-2 uh, zip. So we'll be back after the guards, turn one. 
All right, at the end of turn one, uh, this veteran squad moved forward and they are doing their run moves right now. The Lehman Rust squadron fired at this truck, blew it up, and uh, killed a few of the guys inside in the explosion who then uh, failed their pinning test. So then they uh, boss pulled it and uh, lost another guy in that. So they are uh, they're doing okay, not too bad. Uh, that squad snap fired here because they were pinned and actually did uh, kill two orcs. They did pretty good. So uh, that is it. We'll be back after the orcs, if that focuses. Back after orc turn two. Orcs turn two. Uh, this truck moved forward a little bit. These guys disembarked and failed their charge range. And I didn't take a war boss. There's no law. Uh, this group moved around and they also failed their charge range. Uh, these the bikes scooched over, shot at that, and killed one veteran. Uh, that big shooter and the big shooter from the truck fired at that squad over there. And we managed to kill one veteran. Uh, the looted wagon pushed the button that he's not supposed to push, so he had to move flat out. So here we are. Oh yeah, the uh, Daki Jet did not come in from reserve. So all in all, this was kind of a whiff on the orc side. Let's see if the guard can take advantage. We'll be back after guard turn two. After the guards turn two, uh, these veteran squad moved forward and shot at the bikes who jinked, and they made all of their jink saves. So they did pretty good. Uh, the two sentinels came in from reserves, and they outflanked over on this table edge and shot at the side of this tank and stunned stunned him and shook him and uh he has one whole point left so we can see what we do there the big st story is here the lehman rust squadron moved forward and uh did their split file fire special order so the commander which is in that tank right there fired it it finished off that or almost finished off that squad and then of course the punisher cannon the flamers and all that stuff firing at that squad completely wiped them out which is why they're supposed to make their charge range uh, Harker and the snipers fired across here because there was two boys left and killed off one more. So the one surviving boy from two squads is now running off the table. And I think that is it for guards turn two. So we'll see if we can do anything else with the orcs. Maybe we can pull a win out of this. Okay, after the orcs turn three, Dagajet still didn't come in from reserves. Uh, the mech boy who's inside of that looted wagon tried to repair a hull point and failed. Uh, this truck moved back, and the whole squad of art boys hopped into the truck to try to survive. This guy makes his uh, leadership snake eyes insane heroism and dives into the cover. Uh, these Daka Jets over here move over and shoot at that uh, veteran squad and then assault the veteran squad and then take them out. So here is where we're sitting. It's still looking rough for the orcs, but we're still hopeful. Moving on to the guards, turn three. All right, after the guards turn three, uh, the, the Lehman Russ has moved over, um, trying to get closer to that objective. They did split their fire again. So the commander, which is in the front Lehman Russ, shot at that guy who made his uh, cover save after going to ground. And these two guys shot at this truck. But with all that shooting, all they did was strip off one hole point and um, stunned him. So he just he can move fine, but he has to snap fire. Uh, the uh, Harker in the back also tried to shoot the truck, but he whiffed. Um, these Sentinels did not shoot at the looted wagon because he wanted to score a victory point, so they assaulted it instead and did uh, wreck the looted wagon. So then the mech boy popped out, getting ready to shoot at them to do some do some business. So here's where the table sits. We'll be back after Orcs turn four. All right after the Orcs is uh, turn four, Dagajet comes in automatically. Uh, uh, the mech boy moved up, shot his custom Mega Blasta, and failed to uh, do anything against the Sentinels. Uh, so he then charged them in the close combat. The truck also moved forward and shot all the guys inside, and the truck shot at them and also failed. Um, so then, uh, in the close combat, the mech boy does a wound against one or a glancing hit against one of the Sentinels. So he, but that's pretty much all he's got after that. So he may have to run away. Uh, the uh, psychic powers from the weird boy, uh, he did perils and took a wound, but he fired both of those tests and killed a couple of the veterans, and then the Dakajet fired all three super shooters at them and finished them off. Uh, this guy just hung loose because he went to ground, and he's probably just going to hang out there the whole time. We got all the Dakajets lined themselves up perfectly, 
and fired at that Lehman Russ and did strip off one whole point with a glancing hit. So that is where we are at. We'll be back after the guards turn four. At the end of turn four, this Lehman Russ squadron just repositioned and took that objective to score a victory point. Um, they did concentrate their fire as much as they could on the flyer because that was an objective for them. But um, And he did jink, but only one wound went through and he uh, failed his save, so he just stripped a whole point. Uh, that close combat finished with the mech boy dying, and then they repositioned themselves right there, ready for the orcs to charge them next turn. So that is where we're sitting at the end of four. We'll be back after turn five. Okay, after the Orcs turn five, these guys lined up, shot at that again, but he made his cover save, so nothing happened there. Dakajet just uh, zoomed over there. He didn't go off the table just in case the game ends. I don't want to give any victory points to the guard without him actually shooting me down and dying. Uh, over here, these guys disembarked, shot at those two sentinels, and then finished them off in the assault, as we expected. So uh, they reconsolidated basically behind the truck to get a little bit of cover. From that squad, so if he, depending on what he chooses, uh, the lone surviving orc over here got out of the cover, ran over there, and assaulted the back of Lehman Russ, trying to do something, and failed his rolls. So uh, we'll be back after the guards turn six, or excuse, yeah, turn five. Okay, so at the end of turn five, the Lehman Russ is repositioned. Uh, the commander split fired, killed off the one lone orc. Those two concentrated their fire on the uh, uh, flyer, and they did manage to get a whole lot of lucky shots, and they were able to actually take him down. Um, so he blew up over there, so we'll see if the game ends. Go ahead. Five, the game continues to another turn. We'll be back after orc turn six. Okay, so at the end of six, uh, the boys hopped in the truck, and the truck just uh, went flat out and skimmed off to the side. I'm not sure if I can go flat out when I embark. Who cares? We'll assume I can. Uh, those guys over there scooched over, fired at that Lehman Russ squadron, still trying to take the commander, but he keeps making all of his cover saves. At least somebody does. So we'll be back after turn six for the guard. At the end of the guard six, the Lehman Russ is all repositioned, fire at that Def Copter squad, and wipe them out. Go ahead and roll, see if the game continues to an at last turn. It does! We'll be back after one more turn. Okay, this is the last whole turn both players had went. Lehman Russ is all repositioned themselves. That one got stuck in the train, but who cares? It's the last turn. Uh, their last objective they were trying to get was the objective number three, which was also the orcs. Had the same ones. The orcs zooped over here, didn't get stuck in the train, and got into that. And the Lehman Russes, of course, wrecked the truck, but they did not explode it. So the guys hopped out, and they still have the objective. It's underneath. So uh, that's it. That's the end of the game. Okay, and for the la for the score of the game, uh, the orcs got eight victory points, including the first blood, and the Imperial Guard got five. So it is an orc victory, eight to five. Thanks for watching, and game on!